Hey guys, Ash here from GustFarber.com and a month back I made a video on the top 10 multitasking apps for Android devices. And in that video I mainly focused on how to switch between apps quicker, how to load apps quicker, how to access apps quicker, basically a lot of app launching and uh, switching in between. After I made that video, I got a lot of requests from people for another multitasking app video wherein I focused on apps that are not launchers. So in this video, I'm going to focus on apps similar to uh, say Samsung's pop-up bra pop browser or pop-up video player. So this is extreme Android multitasking. Let's get started. So guys, the first app on the list is G Player. So this is a pop-up player similar to what Samsung offers by default. but I kind of like this more than Samsung's default pop-up player. Reasons? Okay, let me load a video. When you uh, touch it to the right and slide, you can adjust your volume. Okay, that is for the frame size. That's volume. You can also adjust brightness from the left. Again, this is not for the pop-up player alone. This is for the whole screen, as you can see. when the pop-up player is playing. So, resizable, I'm sorry. You can tap on this and you also get a slider at the bottom. Moreover, the G player also supports subtitles. That's pretty useful. You can skip tracks, you can shuffle, or repeat and so on. So, you can also get it back full screen go back and close it so from here you got a few options this is the free edition you can upgrade to the professional edition the, the main screen settings you've got quite a few options here uh, just your regular ones though you've got and like I said subtitle support as well so it plays uh, just about uh, anything that I've thrown at it and that's 1080p that it's playing over here and it adjusts orientations as well. So that's G Player, the pop-up player. All right, so the next app on the list is the floating browser. So what I like about this is it's almost a full-fledged browser, as in you can select bookmarks, choose from recent history, and add tabs, and also open up new instances of the browser. So you can have multiple browsers uh, if you want real Android multitasking. So apart from this, you can also uh, capture the screen, but that's available only for paid users. So if you want to buy the paid version, you can you do get a few extra features like that. And it works really good. So let's say, let's search. Curse forever. Go. So there you go. And you can also pinch uh, to resize. To zoom in so that's pretty decent as well so that is the floating browser so guys talking about YouTube the next app on the list is the floating YouTube uh, player so how this works is just go on to YouTube load up your YouTube app just play any video that you want so let me just uh, play my channel update all right so while uh, while you're here while the video is playing while you've loaded up a video hit share and you have the option for floating YouTube player. So tap it. And there you go. And uh, you can just go back. And now we can search directly uh, onto YouTube if you want to. So that's pretty much it. Again, uh, adjusts to orientation. There you go. 
So guys, the next app on the list is Audio Master Floating. So what I really like about it is it it's not just a music player. You can also record audio from here. You can just jump into your music library, uh, play something. You get comprehensive controls over here. Read. You can just uh, make it smaller, expand it. You get a slider over here. So that's pretty good. And uh, as far as settings go, you've got quite a few settings. Visual Audio Analyzer, so I can use that. A Lash Layout. So I've got quite a few options. LED, notif uh, LED Notification and so on. That's for recording and stuff. So a lot of options here. That's the big mode. So now if you play something. There you get the notification. I mean the... Uh, visual analyzer so that is the audio floating master and it it will also be available over here uh, in the notification panel if you want to quickly launch it so that's that so guys the next app on the list this is actually a set of apps it's called tiny apps light all right so this includes an, uh, an app for notes so you can just uh, take in quick notes and then you've got an app for voice recorder and then you've got one for music this is not as comprehensive as the uh, audio master floating music player that we saw and that's the reason why uh, I included that you can just select uh, your music from a list and play it and you just get pause skip tracks and that's pretty much it but you can resize this as well you can resize all the apps from uh, this list all the uh, tiny apps and then you've got a calculator and then you've got paint and then you've got uh, your tiny apps pro that you can select uh, this is the paid version it will enable tiny widgets tiny browser and the option to minimize windows and adjust transparency and so on so that's the paid version you also have a settings option but most of the settings are for the paid version so uh, there's almost nothing there so that's tiny apps light so guys the next app on the list one of my favorites is the floating banner so this is kind of like a home screen within your home screen so there it is you can resize it and uh, you can have three widgets and five app shortcuts on this home screen in the free version so let me just go into settings so these are the three that I use three apps tiny apps like G player audio master floating floating YouTube player floating floating browser and the widgets uh, the floating ba uh, banner also includes its own widgets that is the camera and the stopwatch so let me just show you how that works just let me just pull my galaxy mega in close it and it goes back to the gallery and uh, this is a stopwatch so a timer that's that and you also have a browser and when you're done with it just tap this and it and it hides over here so you can just tap it to open up close it and that keeps the little cloud icon keeps floating so that is the floating floating banner floating banner is not extremely stable uh, it is stable enough but at times you might get a little freeze and this is on the galaxy s4 itself it's uh it's pretty smooth most times but uh just a little disclaimer here it has the tendency to freeze once in a while and uh that's that so that's pretty much it for my list of non-launcher multitasking apps that I really find useful on my Galaxy S4 and other Android devices. All these apps are free and the links to them can be found right below the like button. And if you haven't checked out my previous video on multitasking apps, you can do that by clicking on the link that's annotated onto the video or clicking on the link below the like button. Uh, again guys, uh, I will be doing these kind of videos every Friday. Uh, under the name Android Tips. So make sure you stay subscribed and give me a thumbs up if you like the video. A big shout out to VGJ Felix. Make sure you guys check out his Game of Thrones video, Game of Thrones, 
top smartphones what's not alike it's an amazing channel it's an amazing video you won't be disappointed so that's pretty much it guys uh, if you guys have any other video requests for me or if you just want to stay updated on my latest videos or updates feel free to hit me up on Facebook Twitter or Google Plus the contact details to all my social networks can be found right below the like button so that's pretty much it for now once again thanks a lot for watching I hope you guys like the video and uh, I'll see you guys soon with more videos till then it's Ash here from cursedforward.com signing off you guys have a great day bye bye now